Hello pretties, in this quick tutorial, we are going to show you how to utilize two retouch actions that are perfect for the skin. They utilize frequency separation, which is the same techniques that pros are using to retouch their client's skin. These actions are the Pro Skin Smoother and the Pro Wrinkle and Blemish Remover. Now you can find both of these actions within the Pretty Actions Retouch and Makeup Collection. So you know you can definitely find it there. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right in and get started because I know you guys are super excited to see how these work. First thing I'm gonna do is just zoom into the baby's skin. When retouching, you definitely want to work within a close proximity of what you're uh, fixing. So we're gonna zoom into this baby's skin. You can use these actions for any client, um, whether it be a newborn, a woman, um, a family, children, men. So let's go ahead and run the Pro Wrinkle and Blemish Remover. I'm going to press play. And the reason I'm doing, we're going to fix the wrinkles, and well, baby doesn't really have uh, any wrinkles per se that I want to remove, but that is an option uh, for some of our older clients. But the reason that we're removing the blemishes and the imperfections first is because once those are removed, our skin will be primed to go ahead and run that smoother, just to smooth out the skin and give it that nice creamy look if that's something that you want to do as well. So reading this, we're going to open our action folder and work on the skin texture layer. Okay, we also have a warning down here at the bottom to make sure that the sample all layers box on the top of the options bar is unchecked for this action to work. So you have all of the handy dandy instructions right there to follow, super simple to use. I pressed continue. We can press this little arrow to open our folder and click on the skin texture layer, okay? Notice our little layer icon is now highlighted and selected. That's exactly what we want, okay? And our sample all layers box right up here is unchecked, very important. I also have my healing brush tool selected. So with this action, you can use your healing brush tool, your patch tool, you can also use your clone brush tool down here. We're gonna start off using the healing brush tool, and I can make my brush larger and smaller using the left and right bracket keys. I'm just clicking around here to remove some of the little bumps. I don't want to remove all of them, uh, especially on the nose here that occurs naturally with newborns, and of course that's always going to be your personal preference. But notice how the little spots on baby are just disappearing and I can drag that and get a, a larger area if I want to. And you might be wondering, what is the difference between using just the spot healing brush tool and, and utilizing it within this action that uses the frequency separation technique? And that's an amazing question with an equally amazing answer. And the answer is that when using this action, what we're doing is replacing the imperfection with a smooth, even texture, but it is not changing the color of the skin. So usually when using the spot healing brush tool, it samples from a color close by. So if I were to click on this light highlight of the baby's nose, I might change it to a darker color if I was not using this action and the skin wouldn't really look completely natural. Okay, by utilizing this action, you're still keeping that really natural uh, color tone that you have going on. Okay, and I'm just gonna move down a little bit further here and let's go ahead and use the patch tool. I just right clicked here on my spot healing brush. We're gonna click on the patch tool and I'm just going to trace around some of the dead skin flakes and just click and drag it to an area with clean skin. And notice again, it's not changing the skin color to this lighter color that we have over here. Um, it's really just replacing that texture with the smooth, creamy skin texture that we've got going on over here. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and zoom through this so we can finish up with our skin smooth action. Okay, so I'm really liking this. I don't want to remove all of the little flakes. I don't want his skin to look 
super, super perfect, but I definitely want to remove most of those imperfections. I'm going to close the folder. We're gonna click on Pro Skin Smoother. And now I'm going to flatten my layers. I can do that by going up to Layer in the Tools panel and click on Flatten Image. Okay, and we're ready to run Pro Skin Smoother. I'm going to press play, and again, we have our instructions. We're just going to brush this action onto the skin and we know that we can open the folder and adjust the opacity settings or the intensity uh, later on after we're done. Okay, so, and that will be on the skin texture layer. Okay, so I have my brush selected. I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit here and let's start brushing this onto the baby's skin. Okay, so notice So notice how it's not erasing all of that fine detail. What this action does is it smooths the skin while still keeping some of the fine details. So again, it's really the most natural way to smooth skin. And this is one of the hardest actions to really see where you've painted. You want to make sure you don't miss any spots or it can kind of look a little funny or a little uneven. So to see all of the areas that you brushed on to your client, and usually I wouldn't go over the eyebrows, but sometimes I do with the newborns just because, I mean, their eyebrows aren't always very present. But I'm gonna press the backslash key, and now I can really see where I'm painting. Okay, definitely check and make sure that you have the right color set to the foreground here. And you don't want to paint over any any detail lines like the separation between the chin and the chest. You definitely want that to remain very defined and I'm not going to brush over that. Okay, I'll just get underneath the eye a little bit here and I'm going to press that again to make it go away. And then I might lower, this is a preference, but I'm going to lower the opacity and go over baby skin. And again, I'm not going to go over all of the creases. A lot of those I still want to be defined in this case of the newborn. And I feel like this is taking away a lot of detail. For this particular image, I definitely want a little bit less smoothing. So we're gonna click on the skin texture here and I can adjust the opacity. And we can do that for either or. We can go to the skin smooth as well. And notice what happens when I move it down. It's actually getting smoother and smoother and smoother. And it's, it's leaving less texture is what's going on. So if I still wanted to keep a lot of that texture, obviously we're going to go higher. I usually like to keep that right around 80% and adjust the actual layer opacity, which you can do as well. So let's bring that down to zero and just find what works best for our particular image. And we're gonna keep that right around 50% and voila. Okay, you can always, just to make sure you've steered clear of any details, you can always bring black back to the foreground color to remove whatever, this in this case, the smoothness, but whatever uh, enhancement your action contains. You can remove it by bringing black to the foreground color, bring that opacity up to 100%. I'm just gonna brush over the eyes here, the eyelashes, because I definitely don't want any of the um, blur or the smoother to linger over that area. I definitely want that to be super defined as well as the lips. Okay, now, at this point, I would go ahead and continue and edit my image as normal, but I'm super, super excited that you guys were able to tune in and watch this tutorial on how to utilize your Pro Skin Smoother and Pro Wrinkle and Blemish Remover in the Retouch and Makeup Collection by Pretty Actions. Thanks, guys.